Looks like I got a school in front of me. Oh yeah, I hope that threads. <laughs> This is where it all started. Not too far from here, I caught my first redfish and speckled trout, and I was hooked instantly. So today I'm back on the hunt for monsters that lurk in these waters. Welcome to Angler's Heaven. After a long haul to the fishing grounds, I was itching to get my line wet and the good Lord provided rather quickly. Spirit one. Oh, tangled up. And, yep. Though disappointed, the next area offered a glimmer of hope. Looks like I got a school in front of me. Come on. All a bunch of reds right in front of me. Never seen them so thick. I hope that's reds. <laughs> There we go, they're reds. Oh my God, there's so many of them. I just spooked them all off. <laughs> there's so many there, I gotta stop. I'm gonna back up, I'm gonna back up. All right. All right. Little guy, but there's a lot more to get. There we go. There we go. I got him. I got him. Yeah, that's it for sure. It's another school, hopefully. Yep, 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 yep. Hopefully this cast will do the trick. There we go. Small one. Well, maybe not. <laughs> No, he's, he's all right. Oh my God, the beautiful color. All right, all right, hold on. Hold on, boy. I'm gonna hurry up and get this guy in the net. It's the hope to not scare off the rest, which I probably already did. Just a small guy. But we take it. See if we can find that school again. I was hoping to explore some new areas, but I soon realized that leaving a spot that was producing was a bad idea. So I quickly headed back to the big cut and it wasn't long before I was back on the fish. Well, I didn't get the hook set because I was looking at stupid videos of myself and I found these reds. There's another one right with them. At least I got part of it on tape. Tape that shows my age. Anyway, this is what I love about Port O'Connor is that they're fish everywhere. Might not be the giant I'm looking for, but that could come here shortly. There they are, right there.
go right in front of them here and just just lead them. Nice little school. We're going to get them. One more cast, hopefully. further, a little further. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that is a good one. They're all good ones, right? Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that beautiful orange color. Oh yeah. Find the schools, man. Find the schools. This is the first time I've actually found the schools and it's wonderful. Feeding on the shoreline. Another beautiful looking fish with a golden color. You gotta love that. Just uh, hitting the shoreline here and looking for tailing fish. And I'm finally seeing them. Fort O'Connor has some tailing fish. Gotta love that. All right, guys. Let's see about getting on some more. As I work my way down the shoreline, I realize the importance of keeping your head on a swivel. A fellow angler once said, you could be looking in one area and see nothing. Turn your head, look back, and there they are. What happened next proved that advice to be spot on. There's one. I thought I saw some action over there. Coming right at me. Oh, shit. <laughs> That was fun. Almost lost a rod. Hammered it. They are aggressive here in the POC, baby. Come on. I'm gonna let you go, don't worry. Redfish heaven. It's working. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Throw it to the left of them. They are tailing right there. All right. Almost. <laughs> you went after it, boy. Right off this grass flat here. Just tailing. Oh, he got off, that son of a bitch. <laughs> Didn't get a good hook set on that guy. Oh, I've never seen so many tailing redfish in my saltwater career. Just to let you know what I'm using today, I have a quarter ounce Texas size jig head with a three aught hook along with a Z Man Diesel Minnow Z in a four inch. This is in the pearl blue glimmer color. I had a leader earlier, but I just went to straight braid. And honestly, my gear is a little bit too heavy. I got a 3000 reel Falcon Coastal Clearwater, seven foot medium heavy. You don't need this heavy of a gear. To be quite honest, all you have to do is bring in like a 1500 reel or a 2000 reel and uh, you can even go with a medium rod 
uh, it'll work just fine out here. My stuff's a little heavy. I made that mistake and it tires you out through the day. So something to think about if you're going to purchase spinning gear for the flats, go a lot lighter. Take that for me. That looks like something good. dark spot right there <laughs> that was one all right just gotta keep an eye on it it's hard to see in the sun it's a little bit to the right it's a school of reds There we go. Little trout, you son of a bitch. You might scare my redfish off. I lost him. It's a nice trout though. Just trying to keep an eye on those reds. We're getting a hook out of this mustard mouth. They're right in front of me. Son of a bitch. Come on. Right in front of me, right in front of me. They're right in front of me. Let's see if we can get two in five minutes. There's a whole school of them right here. You son of a bitch. That was a whole school of them. Damn. Port O'Connor has officially become one of my favorite places to chase redfish. The vast waters of Barroom Bay are not only beautiful, they are plentiful. I will be returning here soon, and I am very grateful to God to allow me to experience this oasis on the Texas coast. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you out on the water.